there's a gentle breeze coming from the heavens, causing sleeping beauty of ancient feminine wisdom to stir and share her knowledge and her deep knowings with us. As the Sun and Jupiter repose at 27 degrees on the Aquarius Leo axis, we have another trine forming in the heavens between Venus in its happy place of Libra, Dark Moon Lilith conjunct the North Node in Gemini and the near to completion Moon conjuncting retrograde Saturn in Aquarius. The Sun degree illuminates a subtle grace that helps us to open up to other realms of reality. Posing jovial sagacity shows us what we know within our innermost spirit, that acts of love strengthen the heart of both the giver and the receiver. This trine is a merge of triple goddess feminine wisdom with aspects of those mysteries permeating our thoughts in today's air trinity, inspired by yesterday's trine in the earth, where we might have deeply felt the calling of the ancients awakening in our souls. Today we are putting those feelings into conscious thoughts. The theme is going to be around how we have chronically tried to suppress the natural expression of Gaia, our mother earth, but also how we've attempted to silence and cover up other aspects of feminine wisdom and ancient feminine knowledge, both literally and metaphorically. Her logic and linear thinking have gained dominance over intuition and psychic knowings, how academia is perceived as superior to creativity and so on. I need not elaborate on other areas of silencing aspects of feminine expression because we all know it, and the thorny narrative that has kept the liberty of women on ice, suffice to say, the energies are bringing women's rights to our attention and right in our faces right now, once again, and hopefully for reparation this time. The Chandra symbol for the almost full moon's degree at 5 Aquarius is humans worshipping an obese nature goddess. John Sandbach translates this degree as one that deeply believes in the abundance of nature and knows that when we allow ourselves to be receptive to what life is offering us, we can draw to ourselves all that we need. What enhances and supports this process most is sharing this attentiveness to the forces of nature with others. This is what helps us get back to pure spirituality. As the moon gets close to her conjunction with the retrograde Jupiter, this concept she carries in her belly is growing and will reach culmination on Sunday at the full blue moon as she will truly shine her abundant wisdom upon all of us, awakening a spark of ancient knowing within us. On that day too, the sun moves into Virgo later on where it will carry the sacred flame. Will we finally get a glimpse of the hidden knowledge of the Sphinx? Will her wisdom be revealed under this magically potent moonshine? I think it might be, if we listen. Whatever the inspiring data that does come to us is, it will arrive in a Ziggy Stardust flash of dazzling superstar kind of way. Suddenly, we'll just get it. We will almost have a spiritual experience that is so potent and changes our beliefs in an instant. We will want to shout about it from the highest planes as it transports us wearing full glam rock costume and giving it the stage presence of Freddy. Dark Moon Lilith at three Geminis representing our shadow twin, the one we tried to kill off in order to function in this patriarchal world. We have lived for way too long where Saturnian versions of reality have demonised the feminine mysteries, intelligences, and set the scene, instructing us how to behave and live like soulless zombies, so we can get to work and make money in order to pay taxes and buy our food, and live, we work to live. But to do that, we have to toe the line and be polite and not be wild or free or wanton, but to be tamed and controlled and fit in with the directed programming that one way fits all, to live in a linear fashion without the balance of all the limitless abstract. 
the beauty and perfectly balanced grace of Venus at 5 Libra reaches out to Lilith through the brambles of misinformation that have entombed her and gives her the kiss of life along with the gift of diplomatic eloquence so she can voice her truth without being demonised as the wicked witch by those who wish to silence her unbound nature. Right on the hills of yesterday, where we sense the ancient feminine wisdom rising up, we can feel it coming up from the earth. Dane Rudyard describes this degree of Libra, where Venus shares her knowledge as a man revealing to his students the foundation of an inner knowledge upon which a new world could be built. John Sandback says of this degree, you are beyond the usual systems that run the world. It causes you to emit a fresh and open vibration that relates to life in a purely direct way, unencumbered by the past. These are the ways, not rebellious in a violent way, but rebellious as in suggesting something not yet explored and not accepting what paths have been laid down for us as the only path. Venus hears the deeply suppressed voice of Lilith and she transmits those unspoken needs to us with beautiful harmonic ideas appearing in our thoughts. Keep your heart alight with joviality and love today. Accept whatever surprising thoughts arrive on a subtle breeze, whether they come in a dream or by whispered voices. Listen up and take them into your heart. The fairy seven who loved the land that they the child might bless. Yet one old fairy they left out in pure forgetfulness. And at the feast, the dishes fair were of the reddest gold. But when the fairy came, not one for her so bad and old. Angry was she because her place and dish had been forgot. And angry things she muttered long and kept her anger hot. If you want to read the full article with the other degrees that I have all written down on my Patreon at Mortal and Wild. Thanks for listening. If you want to click the like and subscribe, go ahead.